In this tutorial, we will learn how to have a fixed joint using MSC Adams. So, for having a joint, you need to have at least two bodies. So, we will make two binary links first. So, I make these two binary links and I try to fix their length, width and depth as default. I click on the binary link, I start and then I finish. These two clicks gave me this link. I draw another link. I start from where I finished and then I go to the second point. Maybe I can do like this. So these are two links made. Apparently they are together, but now up till now they are not connected. So in order to connect them using a fixed joint, I will go to connectors. These are different types of connectors or joints options available. I will go for the first one, which is a lock sign. It says create a fixed joint. So I will use this one to create a fixed joint. Before I join it, I need to tell you that everybody, uh, anybody moving in the space has six degrees of freedom. So if I take this X, Y, Z, so one, degree of freedom or one motion is along x-axis translation, one motion is the translation along y-axis and one motion is the translation along z-axis. So all these three translations are three degrees of freedom or three motions and then we have the rotation. So one rotation is about x-axis, one rotation is about y-axis and one rotation is about z-axis. So there are three rotations, three translations. And when you are working with atoms, and you have made a grid so you are working not in space but in plane and when you are in the plane you are having three degrees of freedom or three motions for each body so this motion in plane will be that you are not moving along z-axis you are just uh, you are only rotating about z-axis and there are two translations one translation is along x-axis and one translation is along y-axis so there are three motions when you are studying in the plane and always remember that in MSC Adams, whatever grid you have, your bodies will be made according to that grid unless until you specify them to do it. So when I build these two links, they were made according to this grid. So I will use this fixed joint now. I will click the fixed joint and it is asking me two bodies, one location. That is a good option and a simple one. You can also use one location bodies implicit it also automatically selects the location and bodies and that is also good and the things are very simpler so we will use these two these two bodies and two locations is little bit tricky in order to learn in the beginning so we will maybe need it to address it later and then the second option is how you want to uh, join your things by default is normal to grid as i told you in the plane all the things are working in the planar the kinematics so every joint will be made normal to the grid uh, for fixed joint as it is fixed the fixed joint degree removes all the degrees of motion of two bodies so this joint doesn't allow any relative motion for two bodies so it is either normal to grid or any other feature it will uh, act in the same way so for the fixed joint, it doesn't make a lot of difference if you choose normal to grid or big geometry feature. Okay, so we take, take two bodies, one location. And if you see on the bottom, it is saying select the first body. So I will select the first body. Remember to click a body selected when it just shows you the name of that body. If it shows ground, let's see like here, it is showing ground. So that is not part two. I have to click on a left click when the part two is shown or the body is shown. Normally body is easily shown when you go towards the center of the mass, apparent center of geometry of that body. So if I click here, the first body is selected. Now it says the sec select the second body. So I will go to this one. This is part three. When it says part three, I click it. Now it is asking where do you want to have the fixed joint, normal to grid. So this is the point where I want to to do it. Remember that if says says something like this or something like this or some other point, don't do it because the exact physical locations are apart. So it may cause problem when you are moving forward in your 
important. So when it is says this marker two, which is showing the center of these two uh, nodes, I will click left click it. So now a lock is shown here. It means that they are fixed. I can check it and I can check it by going to simulation and this wheel button. This gives me the uh, settings of the settings of the uh, simulation and here I use this hand tool or the drag simulation I click it and now I have to click one of the center of the bodies and then drag it so I let's say click this one and move it so I'm translating it along horizontal direction or x-axis I'm translating it and dragging it along y-axis so these two motions are visible right now I can see that it is working Okay, and similarly, the rotation will be allowed. Okay, so you can see that these two bodies are joined together and they are locked. Uh, now we can see that how the implicit body joint works. I can delete uh, by going to connectors and right clicking the joint one. And now I again try to connect these two bodies by uh, a fixed joint, but this time I will use the other option. So it is fixed joint and I will use the body is implicit. It only asks for one location. It is quicker than the other method, but it is feasible when your bodies are very simple and you have few number of bodies present. Okay, so it is just asking what is the location of the fixed joint. So I will just go here and I will click. So it has automatically selected the two bodies and it has joined it. So I go to simulation and settings and I use the hand tool and I do let's do this with the other body this time you see it is translating it is rotating it is uh, uh, doing all the stuff but uh, it is not letting the two bodies move away and we can see that this drag is um, in XY motion if I try to shift the working grid somewhere else I orient I change the orientation let's say I do it XZ and I see the grid is gone somewhere else. So let's see, okay, this is the top view and the top view, you can see the grid here. And this time I try to move this in this direction and I go to the center and this time it is moving the motion along the grid. So remember whenever you are building something in atoms, it tries to simulate along the grid. Another very important point is that you always need to fix your joint with the ground if it is not moving under the action of gravity. Uh, so for every mechanism, one of the link has to be grounded. So uh, in order to have something connected with the ground or fixed with the ground, you can again same the same joint, fixed joint, and this time you have to uh, use one of the body as the ground. So if I just click anywhere when it is saying ground, I just uh, skip it and redo it. If I do fix, the first body has to be uh, ground. So if I click anywhere, this is part two and this is ground. So when it says ground, I will do the first click. And the second click I will do when I have to fix the second body. And the point of fix joint should be where uh, should be at a point where you don't want to put other joints. So normally I prefer to do it at the center of the mass. So if I want to fix this link, this link will be fixed. Okay, so now this link is fixed. Fixed. If I try to move uh, this link, uh, it is giving an error because now already two links were fixed and I have fixed the, the, the one of the link with the ground. So there is no motion. So it cannot move. It means that it is working fine. Uh, remember that by default, the ground will have link number one. It has a number part one. So part, you will never see part one there. If you go there in the tree, the numbers are starting from three and two. So it is a normal practice that the first part in every mechanism is ground and that is part number one. So when you do the Grubler counting as well, the link number one is always ground. Okay, so that's it for the fixed joint. Uh, please do comment and give me feedback. And if you need uh, 
some other queries to be solved do write them in the comments and don't forget to subscribe thank you